disabled car right here. As luck would have it, got a dead alternator. So, yeah. These past two days have been nothing but bad luck. It blew a seal. I had a lifter fail. This is just not good. <laughs> Well, good morning. Uh, welcome back to the channel. And it just got windy. Anyways, um, today I'm actually replacing the alternator here. Uh, they took a crap on me on Saturday. And um, yeah, I kind of put a damper on uh, the plants that I had for over the week. And uh, not only, but make it out of the wind. Not only uh, did I have this uh, alternator fail, uh, Abe had his uh, transmission front seal, the pump seal go out, so his car was leaking all over the place. And uh, the TV cable was bad apparently, which was causing the transmission to, to uh, shift kind of funny. But uh, yeah, so that kind of ruined the plans to uh, get some runs in. And uh, we're gonna have to try again later. And uh, this actually, I wasn't planning on recording it at all, but uh, I don't know. I guess uh, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging there because uh, I promised you guys a video on Sunday, but uh, that didn't happen. Um, so, like as you saw at the beginning of the video, just little snippets here and there, but uh, nothing concise. And then this happened. Had to wait a day for the alternator to come in, and I was not able to save it. But yeah, uh, regardless of that, I'll show you guys uh, me replacing the alternator on a quick time lapse. And uh, <laughs> we will see, man. I don't know. Uh, right now, I'm in a crunch of time. I literally uh, was able to finish some stuff quickly. So uh, I decided to change the alternator since it's only, only going to take me 15 minutes. As you see here, I already took all the cables out and all that. I didn't even bother undoing the battery because uh, this thing is held in by two bolts. Take it all the wires on the back. I taped the, the live wire that way I don't arc it into anything. And uh, yeah, so I'll let you guys watch the time lapse and we'll go from there. take this off to put in the new one and uh, as you can tell it's nothing special just another alternator from uh, Advance so I just gotta change these because I have this nice aluminum pulley and uh, that's it. So, yeah. Usual things didn't want to cooperate, so I had to drill out the top of that bolt to get the cap off so I can get to the nut. So, the reason why I just cut the head off with the drill and just to be able to use this and uh, remove it. Uh, the problem here is that uh, when I installed this, I seem to have used red Loctite instead of the blue one, which would explain why the threads, uh, the screw didn't want to come out. So I know that about that's the thread of the screw that I need, about yay long 
without the head and uh, yeah so i can just continue doing this and then uh, eventually i'll run to the auto parts store and get another screw and put it on there i'll probably do hex screws just to not have this issue again but uh yeah just continuing on complete charger is off and, and here we go no more vault light so we're good we're good You can actually hear whatever failed in there now. Uh, yeah. Seems to be one of the brushes. Oh yeah. It's nice and crunchy. Oh yeah. My, well, you probably can't see it there, but <laughs> yeah, you can see it in the commutator all wobbling about. So I might take apart this one just to uh, see see exactly what failed. But uh, it doesn't look good. I mean, I see little chunks of plastic on the bottom. And anyways, now the car is back together, charging 14.1 volts and so on. I am dying to find out what the hell is in there because you can hear it. And if I shake it and spin it at the same time, we get little chunks plastic and springs so yeah <laughs> whatever whatever failed in there which I'm pretty sure is the brushes uh, failed pretty good so let's open it up and uh, we're gonna do this the easy way because I don't want to be editing these forever so what I'm gonna do is just show you in steps so like right now I'm just gonna take this off should we do the, the snap or the, the hand? Like that. And then, uh, yeah, so uh, little plastic bits fell out all over the place. Uh, this motherfucker has been burning for a while because uh, this is completely screwed right here. Whatever resin that was, it just burnt off. So this was never gonna work again. And uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see here, but there's a whole, <laughs> a whole piece of plastic missing here that's supposed to be holding brushes and stuff. So yeah, this was never gonna work again. On the bright side, it doesn't look to have damaged any of the coils. So this half is good. This might be repairable, but I don't have to talk to some people because uh, as you can see, there's chunks of plastic stuck all inside of this thing. What I'm really wondering here though is like what's causing these failures because uh, bearings seem fine uh, and actually this is not the first time, it's actually like I think the third alternator within the last three years actually make that four, this is the fourth because this is the third and the one that I just put in there is the fourth anyways um, so I'm starting to wonder if uh, what's going on here that is make, it's causing these things to fail because uh, this is the same uh, failure that I got that I had on the second Bosch alternator that I had that actually made it all the way to Florida I replaced it made it all the way to Florida and it died and then I put this one on which is just the cheapy off the shelf which 
<laughs> lasted the longest has actually been two years. I thought it was about a year, but no, it's been two years. And uh, yeah, so whatever's causing these failures, I have no no idea. But it's the same fashion every time. Chunks of plastic fail where the brush is right, and uh, yeah, you can see one brush here. The other one's gone already. But uh, and they also. Hold on, let me just rip it out. Can actually see that this bit. I mean, it's been riding sideways for a while, so that means that that thing's been flexing. The wear is just way off. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, these are supposed to ride perpendicular to that. Uh, I'm not sure if and in, in, if these are meant to be offset, but as far as I know, they they always kind of ride a little bit to the side but this is like wild out to the side like this would have been yeah I'll talk to some people see if this is uh, salvageable or not because of this because uh, you can actually buy all of this make it a 200 amp and blah 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 but this is what uh, wears me here I mean it doesn't look like it tore anything it looks like you could just solder it back on and then I don't know epoxy it on there but then it might just throw this out of balance I don't know um, I'm not an expert at uh, alternator rebuilding. So, anyways, guys, uh, that'll be all for this upload. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now that classes have started, I'm not sure what my schedule is going to be like with the uploads. Uh, I'm going to try to maintain at least two uploads a week. Like I've I mentioned on a video before, I don't want to start uploading crap. Uh, downpipe is on hold. Uh, literally, it's ready to slap on, so that'll be coming anytime now. Uh, yep. Yeah. Actually, I forgot to, sh to show you guys when I did the weighing off of this, but anyways, this thing is a lot lighter now. It probably weighs half of what it used to weigh. But anyways, so hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, share this with anybody that may find it useful. This is for uh, Israel and Anthony. They wanted me to really connect with my audience, so here we go. Awkward stare in the camera. <laughs>